everyone, this is Sharon the Night Owl Scrapper with another project with Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, today, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I made a canvas. It's an altered canvas and I used um, several Lindy Stamp Gang products. Um, I'm going to show you um, pictures of this project at the end of the video, so stay tuned at the end, um, you know, after I video it. Um, but first I wanted to share um, the materials that I used for this project. So to color the canvas in the back I used the Moon Shadow Mist in the, um, let me see if you could see, the Incandescent Copper. And I also used the Moon Shadow Mist from Lindy Stamp Gang in the Van Dyke Sepia. I also used in this canvas my new favorite, and I can't stop using it. It is the Blazing Sun Glitz Spritz by Lindy Stamp Gang. I love this stuff. If you want gold shimmer on your projects and only gold shimmer, use this. It's fantastic. I love it. I can't, I mean, I just love it. So check that out. Um, I also used in the frame that you saw me. Um, color. I used the same two moon shadow mists um, and then I also um, used some embossing powders on it and I used the embossing powder Lindy Stamp Gang in Midnight Copper and that's what it looks like. It's like a black with some copper iridescent to it. It's beautiful. I also used the Visentine Bronze embossing powder and it looks like that so pretty. So these were the two embossing um, powders that I used in my project and um, it's it's just gorgeous. I love 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 it. This is a gift for a friend and I'm super excited how it came out um, because I had a vision in my head and it just came out exactly the way I want it. I also used for my canvas in the background Webster's Pages and I use uh, a sheet of paper from the Country Estate collection and I also used a transparency sheet from Webster's Pages from the Life's Portrait collection. Um, so I'm going to zoom out. This is a rather large project. It's a 12 by 12 canvas and well you know it's very hard to film. I'm going to try to do my best. But it's an altered canvas and it has like a working frame in it. And what I mean by that is that you can certainly, if you want it to, which you probably would want to, you could add um, a picture in the back. You can just stick it in there. Um, so it's a frame in the canvas. Um, I used a ton of sprays from Michaels. I um, collect them. I've been collecting them in the last two three years and I love using them. I also use some Webster's Pages um, sprays which I'm gonna show in detail when I do the zooming of everything so you could see. I use some Prima um, nests and then I also used embellishments from the Susan Winget um, Botanical paper collection and um, I love that it had blues in it because, um, like I said, this is for a friend and I made it with the intentions of her putting it in her craft and I, I know that she's been um, organizing and uh, decorating her craft room and I know she liked blues a lot and greens and I thought this was the perfect, um, you know, color combo to use. Um, so let me try and see if I can show you. These are all the sprays that I use. This is um, part of the Webster's pages. It's like a it's like a fluffy ball. Those are part of the sprays. These I got in a rack from Damaris. These little acrylic um, roses. These are some just gold sprays from Michaels as well as these copper ones. And this is a nest in the bird from the um, Kane Company Susan Wing Winget collection. 
the botanical collection. And then I hope you could see the effect on the, you know, on the frame, the texture. This is a frame from Michaels. You've all seen them, but I love um, how the embossing powders look on it. It's so cool. It looks so distressed and old and vintage. It looks really nice. And um, I use some Prima flowers and also some other mulberry paper flowers, which I all I spray them all with the blazing sun, and they all have such a nice gold shimmer to them, and it's very subtle, very nice. Um, some of the Prima nests with the eggs, also some eggs from the um, collection. And what I like about these um, 3D um, stickers from Can Company is that they also bring things like um, gems and things to just accent the pieces and some glitter. It's so pretty. Um, so there's more eggs around here. This is very dimensional. As you can see, I distressed everything all around the edges as you saw in the tutorial at the beginning of the video. Very pretty. And it looks really nice. This is from Glitz, this little transparency. And it says, touch the sky, live, laugh, love, don't hold back, enjoy every day, do what you love, dream big, you know, things like that. So um, the reason why I use this um, transparency is because I wanted to tone down the brightness of the other Websters pages. There is like a cottage in the back over here, and I wanted to mute that out a little. Because anyway, you won't see it, but... Um, when you put the picture in there, but uh, what if you decide to put a small picture in there and then some journaling or something? I just thought it would look best, best if I did the transparency and, you know, the vellum sheet, which is this, the vellum sheet. I've been calling it transparency for some reason, but it's a vellum sheet. Um, I love those from um, Webster's Pages. I just distressed it, you know, like you saw... I believe in the video how I did it. I wasn't able to film the entire process because um, you know me I have a small child and I do things when she's napping or whenever I get five minutes here five minutes there so I can't you know just sit down and sit you know for a couple hours and film the whole project and for this particular project when I was in the middle of it um, she woke up so I had to stop and wait like two days later to continue in and then my camera didn't have any battery so you know I filmed what I could just so you guys could see um, I love using these sprays from Michaels and they're inexpensive you, I usually get them 70% off and they add such great texture and um, volume to your projects and um, I really enjoyed working with this um, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up in the camera but you could see the copper shimmer on the edge here of the canvas. Super nice. You're probably going to see um, more of this in the pictures at the end of the video. You could also check out um, the Lindy Stamp Gang vlog where this um, project will be posted. And I hope my friend likes it. Um, it was extremely fun to make. I, I'm really happy that what I had in my head came out in here because it came out exactly how I wanted it. These leaves that you see here, because I know I'm going to be asked, these are from also from Webster's Pages. These are some like fabric, you know, little, let me see if I can get it in, like little fabric leaves. And again, this is part of the spray from Webster's Pages, this fluffy little one. So, um, very fun to make and, I mean, it was great with the Lindy Stamban products, how you got this texture. You're going to see that in the picture. It's amazing. You should try it. I love, love, love sprinkling the Lindy Stamban powders on my projects. It just takes it to another level. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And um, I'll talk to you soon with another project. Bye-bye.